Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing an Ipsy unboxing. It's a little bit late because we're already into the month of July, but this was my June um, glam bag. And I apologize for the lighting. It's kind of dark in here. I don't know why. Uh, it could be just because it's like in like a corner and I don't have like full lighting yet. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I was going to do a tutorial on this look. I really, really wanted to do a tutorial on this look because I used the Beauty Killer palette. But I just felt like it was so dark looking that it just didn't give like the full effect, <laughs> if you get what I mean. So I just decided, okay, you know what, I'll do my makeup and then I'll still make a video because I still really love this uh, makeup look. So I can at least still show you guys what it looks like. Uh, and then if you do want me to do a tutorial on it, I can do that. So let's jump into the Rebel, Rebel Ipsy Glam Bag. That was their little theme. I didn't just like make that up. <laughs> so their theme was like the rebel bag, I guess, um, which is why it's like all graffiti. This is probably my favorite bag yet, just because of how cool it looks. Okay, so I haven't used any of this stuff yet because I moved, so I totally kind of forgot about it, that it was in here, which is kind of cool because it's like, oh, what's in here? Oh, a bunch of makeup that I haven't used yet. Cool. Uh, so I will start with this. This is a satin lip color by Lip Teeny. Whoa, yeah, there we go. There's the pink. So it's like a really nice kind of rosy pink color. Uh, I do want to swatch it, but I should have probably opened the packaging first. Let's just yeah, rip this open. Oh, it did not go as planned. There we go. Alright, so there's a better look at that color, and I just realized, you know, because this lighting is kind of off right now, maybe I won't swatch it, because I don't know if that will really, if it will look the same. Actually, yeah, let's just, I don't know if I'm even going to use this, I don't know if I want to give this away, or if I want to use it, so I'm just not going to swatch it. Um, it is called Pink Teeny, just in case you want to look it up to see what it's about uh but yeah i'm not gonna swatch it because i don't know if i will actually use this I'm not much of a satin lip lover i like my mattes um and then i got this which is kind of really cool because i gave this away in my last giveaway that i did and i got it back so that's kind of cool so i do have the full size sample uh, or the full size and then i have another sample version so this will be nice to just throw in my purse and take with me it's the Delectable um, Everything Balm. So that's the one that you can use literally for everything. It's kind of like a coconut oil, except it's not as greasy. And it doesn't smell like coconuts. <laughs> um, and then I got this really cool, it's like not really packaged anymore because I did open this when I first got it to take a look at the eyeshadow. But it's the Urban Decay Fireball Eyeshadow. I think that, yeah, it says it's our 20th birthday, and to mark the occasion, we're letting you road test one of our most iconic shades. So I believe there was two shades they were giving out. I'm not really sure what the other shade was, but I'm happy I got this one because I definitely use colors like this. Um, let's swatch this guy. So it's really small. I'm going to have to get like a Z palette to put these things in, but oh my god, it is so freaking pretty. Okay, can you see that? There we go. It's very, very uh, bright. It does not look that bright in the packaging, but it's kind of like a pinky color. It's called Fireball. It definitely swatches a lot, lot lighter, um, but it's got a lot of like pink iridescence to it, which is really pretty. I am, wow, I'm impressed. This is gorgeous. Yes. Okay. That's gorgeous. Yes. Take that off now. <laughs> um, moving on, I have two more things. So I've got a nail color from Formula X. Let's open this baby up. Oh, and it's another pinky red. Oh, red. Red. So I got, okay, good. I got a pink one last time, so I was like, oh, really? Another pink? But no, this is more of like a cherry red. Uh, I'm excited about that because I actually needed a new red nail polish. I love a red toe. Like, if you... Not red toe. Toes. 
Um, during the summer, I just love having red nail polish on the toes. I don't know why. It's not really a nail color for me, but on the toes, it's hot. And then last but not least, we've got Three Tone Bronzer by Crown Brush. I love Crown Brush. I love, 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 love them. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, that's really cool. I'm uh, not sure if I'm going to be able to use that darker shade when I do all of these on my face because that's really dark. Um, but the light color and the pink, those are pretty. I'm going to do just a, one swipe. Let's try to do one swipe anyways because I have my nails. Literally it takes up the entire pan. So I'm just going to do one swipe across. Oh, and you can feel the different textures. Um, I didn't really get any product though, so I feel like you have to go back and forth. Yeah, um, I don't understand. That's not really coming off as anything. So I guess it's just like a really pale ass blush. Um, and this bronze color, I'm gonna try and swatch it by itself. I tried swatching it by itself and it would be kind of good to use in the um, crease of your eyes, but not that great. I'm almost wishing I'm almost wishing I didn't swatch that so I could give it away. If you guys don't mind products that have been swatched but not actually used, I'll do a giveaway because I have a lot of stuff that I've touched but I've never actually been using. So a lot of it is like this little uh, this little like sample size kind of stuff from Ipsy and whatnot that I just have too much of or I just don't grab to because I've got better things to use. Um, but definitely a good box, that's for sure. Uh, I do want to kind of share a couple things I got out of the last box um, because I don't think I did an ipsy out of it. But I got the new IT Cosmetics uh, No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner in the merch box. It was this bag, this bag here. And I just used it today under my um, waterline because I was wearing falsies today and I was like, oh gosh, I gotta, I gotta fix this little gap I have, I gotta use something, but all of my blacks just like don't stay and they just wear off. So I was like, oh, what's this? I haven't used this yet. Uh, clinically proven waterproof all day. And I find that if you use um, your stuff in your water lines, that it won't stay all day. So uh, using a gel formula will definitely help with that and especially if it's waterproof. So I'm really impressed with that. Uh, and then I also wanted to share, where'd it go? Oh yeah, this, I haven't used this yet. It's like a lotion, micellar lotion that you can use to take your makeup off, which is kind of cool. It's like water that takes your makeup off. And then I had this mellow lipstick that's like bright ass orange. So I'm excited to use that too, but yeah. I just felt like I should just share a couple extra products because they're right in front of me and um, <laughs> why not? It's from Ipsy, so I might as well share them. Well, thank you for watching. I now have good lighting. What the fuck? I just realized that. This lighting is like perfect now. <sighs> I need to figure out this lamp. I have a lamp that has a light bulb and it like changes, <laughs> but I don't know how to change it. But this is great lighting now. I wish my entire video was like this. I could have done a tutorial. <sighs> well, might as well zoom up on my makeup look today because the lighting is good now. I'm actually really impressed with the um, pink that I used. I used a lot of the Jeffree Star eyeshadows and I used some Kat Von D eyeshadows, but I'm really, really impressed. I am. Let me do one more zoom up on this. Oh, and I used pink champagne in the corner. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this eyeliner is I did not put black right here. There was no black supposed to go there, so it obviously transferred. Um, but I mean, I don't mind it. It doesn't look awful to have that there, but I definitely didn't put that there. Um, yeah, I guess it was just from the gel liner not really drying before I was like closing my eyes, I guess. 
I'm still kind of new to the eyelash thing, but I think I'm doing pretty good with placement. So let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this look. I will definitely do it wrong way. Um, yeah, I'll definitely do it for you guys because the palette is amazing and I would want you guys to all get one yourself. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna end this video now. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.